welcome back everyone, Toysh is here, and welcome to the start of my 2023 Retro October event. We're going to be checking out all the latest and greatest new toys, and especially them old toys that had to do with the Fox Kids Countdown. Remember that? Channel 11 for me, but I remember it fondly. All the best cartoons, all the best Power Ranger episodes... So we're going to be going a little bit of green with evil with today's videos. Kicking it off with Rita Repulsa straight from the Super 7 Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Ultimates line. My very first Rita figure, huh? After all these years of collecting an MPR, I finally have a Rita. She looks pretty darn cool, if you ask me. On the back side of the gorgeous window box packaging, you get a nice photo and you get a little bit of a write-up for the old garbage dumpster hopping Rita, right? Very cool. Now, to go along with the Green with Evil storyline, all five parts, we also have Tommy Oliver, the Green Ranger. And I gotta say, as a kid, I loved the Green Ranger as the Evil Ranger, right? That was so cool to see that transpire. And then he became a good guy. He lost his powers. He got his powers. You get the idea. He ended up as the White Ranger. But just as Rita, you get a little bit of a write-up for old Tommy Oliver, the Green Ranger. This is going to be an absolute blast. I'm very excited for this. We got some uh, awesome toys coming up i promise you that so sit back relax grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee this is a look at the brand new super 7 mmpr ultimates rita repulsa and the green ranger so then once you get all the boxes open you're left with two figures and a heck of a lot of accessories i'm actually blown away by the number of accessories here that's very cool on the green ranger side you get a bevy of extra hands. You get dragon dagger playing hands and fisted hands and zord calling hands. It's pretty cool. I like that the amount of hands they give you. They work well with the figure. Then, of course, you have the sword of darkness along with this little flappy tassel right there. I totally dig that. It's pretty much spot on to the sword of darkness. I totally dig it. Nice paint and the Greek ranger holds it really nicely when he's calling out the red ranger, right? Brother or otherwise, right? Depending on if you're watching Zoo Ranger or regular Mighty Morphin. Now, you do get some extra arms. This is when he's powered down mode. Or you could say it's the original flip head toy. Because this definitely is. This is the Dragon Shield. And uh, just as the original, it equally makes me nervous. It has some really nice gold paint to it. I totally appreciate that, right? But uh, mine's a little chipped right there on the bottom. And I'm kind of bummed because, yeah, no, it's, it's truly... My old Bandai flip heads at that point, right? Now, you do get the original flip head dragon dagger. Got the hole right there. And much like I said with the Red Ranger when we looked at him, I wish he came with that extra hand with the peg in it to hold it proper, right? And to top it off with all that toy nostalgia, yes, you get the original blaster as well with the hole in it. That's very cool. And once you get all the pieces attached, the arms in there and whatnot, uh, yeah, that looks... Pretty darn stellar, if you ask me. I probably will be displaying him like this. I absolutely love that. You do get two head portraits. Now, with the Red Ranger, they were entirely too big, and they really just didn't look good overall, right? This unmasked, we'll say normal Tommy head is okay. I like that you can position him holding the helmet. I totally dig that. They are painted nicely, they are scaled correctly, so there's that. But let's say the evil head, it's really not doing them a whole heck of a lot of favors. It's almost uh, too much cartoony, right? Where it becomes like, I don't even know who that is, right? Now, you do get the power morpher for the dragon sword and the dragon coin. Totally dig that. Along with a properly painted, proper look dragon dagger i love that as well now one thing is on the solicitations for the photos for super seven it gets them holding it right well because of the articulation scheme you can't really get them into that position right it kind of looks like it from certain angles but no the articulation is not there to bring the dragon dagger up to the mouth and play it right now this right here is the mega heater billy designed of course it gets Tommy out of a jam while he's stuck inside a monster. That's totally cool. I totally appreciate that. Along with the Sword of Power. And again, those are two little nods that tells me Super 7 is watching the old episodes and they're putting in corresponding accessories. I appreciate that. Now, when it comes to the Green Ranger, I love this figure. I actually really enjoy the MMPR Super 7 figures. 
But that's not to say that they don't have weird problems with them, right? Don't get me wrong. As a display, they look really good. Especially, again, a lot of people like to say the $55 price point, right? Well, Hasbro's no longer making Power Rangers, apparently, or whatever they're doing with that. And everything else, let's say the import-wise, is more expensive. So you get a ton of show-accurate accessories and the figure, but that's not to say Super 7 that you still have to work on the paints and you gotta work on some loose joints. I'm happy to say though, there's really only a little bit of looseness between these two figures. So I definitely dig that, right? And the gold for the Dragon Shield should be a lot more gold, right? I think that they kinda goof that a little bit. I do have the Red Ranger Dragon Shield, so I'll pop that on later in the video. Also, I was looking at this and thinking, the collar is off, right? He doesn't have that big of a gap. Well, in certain instances, he does. I don't really like it. I think it should be up a little bit higher. Or you could position it a little bit higher. You know what I mean? But that's just nitpicking because, yes, it is part of the show in some angles. And it is a man in a costume. So I'm not going to be too hard up on it. But it just looked weird, right? You do have the dragon dagger sheath. You have the knees and you have the rotating boots and the feet and everything else. No, this is not going to be mind-blowing super articulation. This is Super 7 articulation. So if you get these figures, you largely know what you're getting at this point, right? Hopefully, we'll say. Now, over on the evil space alien sides of things with Rita Repulsa. Out of the two figures here, Rita is a gem. I absolutely love this. She comes with her telescope. What an accessory to give to Rita Repulsa, the thing that she used many times over in the show, at least for MMPR that we are aware of, right? It looks exactly like what you see. It's got the little plastic sphere in the middle of the tripod. I love it. They didn't need to do this. This is a perfect accessory for Rita Repulsa. Now, in kind of articulating her, you can kind of sort of get in her crunch down. I wish that the telescope was a little bit articulated. You can kind of move it around just to get a better position, right? You get an extra head portrait for Rita, which is when she's got her headache, right? Ah, I got a headache. The, the monster's goofed. Goldar goofed. She's just mad at everyone, right? You can swap the heads out at ease. It's painted beautifully, although I wish she had a hand that kind of looked like she was massaging her head, right? Like, oh, that kind of thing. Now, this one, I had to think about it for a second, and I go, oh, wait, yeah, that's that's when Kimberly was Rita Repulsa, right? I think the skin tone's a little bit too dark, to be honest with you. This is a nice nod. It's a nice little callback. It's a really deep cut. I appreciate it for that. But let's be honest, we're never going to display Rita like this, right? <laughs> now, she does come with a ton of extra hands. And the hands all work well with the figure. So I'm very happy about that. Along with all of her rings are painted. Everything looks nice, even down to her pink fingernails. So they nailed all the hands. Very cool. Now, for some reason, I got two green crystals, right? Go figure. There was one in the very back of the box kind of floating around. So I have two. Then you get a nice little goblet drink, right? Kind of like a, a space martini. She was seen several times drinking on, sipping on. You get her love potion bottle, right? So everything that was weird about that with Lord Zed. And you get the green candle. That's a nice accessory as well. Although I will say the little flame at the top could have been done a little bit better. It kind of looks like a little candy corn kind of thing also straight out the box i had to heat it up a little bit and kind of reform it the candle everything was all uh, misshapen it wasn't standing but i put it in some hot water reformed itself and, and it looks good now right now the best most iconic uh villain weapon of mighty Morphin power rangers is rita's staff beautifully painted it's got a real chain on it can't say enough Nice things, like the dangly bits, right? Very cool overall. Nice red orb in there. On the other side, it's got the earth piercing end, right? So you can make all the monsters grow easy peasy. And Rita herself, like I said, can't say enough nice things. This is really well done. Again, the accessories make this figure. Much like I said about King Sphinx, Rita Repulsa with her skirt that has a bendy wire in it, right? That's cool. She's got little shoes, in some instances, she can be kind of difficult to stand, but I'm telling you, once you kind of figure it out, she's actually pretty steady. Even when she's holding her staff, right? You can make this work. I had zero problems once you kind of figure it out. 
the design on the skirts, the back, the feathers. You see a lot more costume details, like her Madonna bra, right? Those things are deadly, right? That'll poke your eye out right there. Kid, her big blue mane right here. Everything is stellar. Brings out so much detail. She's got an extra head. Like I said, more maniacal laughing, even though I would say this one could have been a little bit more spot on. It goes a little bit cartoony. It's still Rita Repulsa, but just a few little uncanny valley hitches right there. Kind of goes, yeah, I wish that was just a little bit better, right? Now with her hands, she's got the rings. She's got the dangly chain bits. I'm going to tell you this. Be very careful with the hands. Figure this out before you really go hog wild. Now, it's two pieces. You have the hands, which you swap out, and then you have her gold bracelet with these two little prongs. Be very careful with this. I'm just going to say, figure it out first. Do what I do. Kind of pop it in the hand. Go very slowly. Don't push too hard. Kind of rock it in there. You'll figure it out. The articulation is Nothing crazy, but it's very suitable for Rita Repulsa. I don't need her doing splits, matrix moves, backflips, none of that. I'm very happy with just standing this figure, looking into her telescope, making the monsters grow by holding the staff. You get what I'm saying here. The whole dress works with you, and it's stellar, especially when you want to put her with some of the Super 7 evil space aliens like King Sphinx. Now I need Goldar and Finsters are coming. I'm going to build out this collection. I'm getting really into this. I'm very happy with how these look. These are spot on. Now, like I said, I know I had some problems with the Red Ranger, right? I'm happy to say the Green Ranger is an improvement, even though he was Wave 1 and Red Ranger was Wave 2. Little inconsistencies here and there, but through and through, yeah, they're, they're very cool and displaying. We'll just say that. So... While I got you guys here, I know we're going to take a little bit of a detour. I got to do a little entertainment or spiel, but that's where I grab my MMPR Ultimate. So what you do is you head over to Entertainment Earth, right? You type in Power Ranger Ultimates. Very simple, right? Imagine that. And it's going to pull up all the various Mighty Morphin Power Rangers that they have available. So I'll tell you this. If you like any of the Rangers here, you will get 10% off of anything ranger-wise or literally anything that Entertainment Earth has in stock with my links down below. If you spend over the certain amount, which just happens to be 79 bucks, they've kind of upped it, just FYI, but you will get free shipping as well. So if you buy two Mighty Morphin Power Ranger Ultimates by Super 7, you'll have no problemos. So yes, they are on that higher end price point. These are collectible action figures, but you see the amount of stuff that they come with and to be quite honest with you from going from the Hasbro Rangers which I'm not gonna knock because I have them and I enjoy them but I honestly like what Super 7 is doing with them at this point like I said there are problems with every action figure line and Super 7 has things to work on but uh, these are a great display when you finally have them all laid out so again head over to entertainment earth you got free shipping on all orders over 79 bucks and if anything is in stock from power rangers uh from whatever company you want to grab them from hey it doesn't matter to me hey that'll give you 10 percent off as long as the items are in stock so please head over check out entertainment earth i guarantee you'll find something there that you like. So that'll wrap it up for my look at the brand new Rita Repulsa and Green Ranger action figures from the Super 7 MMPR Ultimates line. Again, there will always be things to improve on. I'm happy to say that there aren't any loose joints. All the weapons, all the hands, everything fits for the most part. There's a couple issues with paint, let's be honest. But through and through, from looking at King Sphinx and Red Ranger first and now seeing these, I'm happy to see uh, an improvement through and through. So, you've heard my thoughts, and now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything MMPR Ultimates. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember, let me know down in the comments below which two figures from the MMPR Ultimates would you like me to tackle next. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.